Hi folks, welcome to Carl's Vaping Reviews once again. Welcome to the video. I have something that's stunning for you now. Uh, I'm bringing this review forward. Just to be on a bit more of a serious note. I bring this review forward because lots of people asking questions about it, etc. Where can they get it? How much is it going to be? And I'm talking about the Kato Box Mod Clone 18650 mechanical device. Now, I'm not sure of the manufacturer of this. Uh, I wasn't told that information. It was sourced by elegantvapor.co.uk. Uh, and it was watched throughout the process. It was uh, pictures were sent to, to and back and, and forth from uh, the owner of Elegant Vapor uh, and the maker of the, the, the mod all the way through the process. And the end result is that it's fantastic. And my camera focuses in. There you go. It is a fantastic bit of kit. The engraving on it is superb, absolutely superb. Uh, battery venting holes at the bottom. Now, we'll have a quick vape on it. Lovely. I've currently got a 50-50 juice in this K-Fun. This K-Fun is coiled at 1.3 ohms. Uh, just a normal coil in there. 28 gauge micro coil uh, with cotton wick. And I can't detect uh, any serious voltage drop from it or anything like that. Lovely. Right. First things first. Where can you get it? How much is it going to cost? Uh, currently, there is uh, a pre-order on elegantvapor.co.uk for them. They are expected in the next few days. Uh, £60 it's going to cost you uh, at the present moment in time. Uh, it is a box mod type mechanical device, as you can see. It is stainless, polished stainless steel, so it's polished, top and bottom, and the switch. Uh, this bit in the middle here with the with the engraving on, which is a di which looks obviously a different colour, that is a solid block of milled aluminium. Uh, so it's not hollow inside there, apart from the battery tube, but it is it, it's been milled from a solid block of aluminium. So with a K fun in and the battery, we're talking weight wise on my scales of justice. It is 311 grams, so it's not a light piece by any by any stretch of the imagination. But without the K fun and without the battery, it comes out at 192 grams. That's right, yeah, 192 grams. So. We'll go down for close-ups and have a look at it and everything. That's without the battery. And this ring here is 23 mil, 23 and a bit. So you can fit your Typhoon GTs in there, uh, etc. Uh, that was a K fun, so they are they, they 22 mil uh, atomizers. I don't know if there's going to be any kind of adapter cloned adapter coming for it or, or for, to use drippers on it I suppose yeah I mean I've still used a dripper on this with a long uh, drip tip but what we'll do is we'll go down for close ups uh, we'll take it I'll take it apart show you the insides etc and uh, then we'll come back up have another vape on it and, and rate it I know what my rate is going to be already before I've even I mean I have taken it apart already and had a look inside and um, to me, it's a dog's bollocks. I love this kind of thing, though. You know, it's, it's going to be one of them mods that's it's it's either for you or it's not. Uh, but there are a lot of people asking questions about it, so this is why I'm doing. I brought the review forward from my original queue. So we'll go down to four close-ups, and we'll see you down at the table. 
Hi right, guys, here we are close up with the uh, K2. Now, this is what you get in the package. You get uh, a copper spring and an Allen key. Spare, the spare copper spring is for the bottom under the battery. And the Allen key is for undoing the uh, the device. Uh, it comes with a pouch and it comes with the uh, bubble wrap on as well, the K2 does inside there. And it's got uh, K2 with profit vapor on the on the uh, case as you can see now this is the device lovely bit of kit very very nice and as we can see looking around we'll start on the back the, this is really really deep this is this engraving here in the aluminium and then we turn it round We've got, I can just show you how deep that is. We've got the Phoenix there and the uh, serial number, which is uh, K039. Polished stainless at the bottom and the top, 23mm ring, and there's the fire switch with the K engraved in it, really deep again. There's your two Allen key bolts for taking the off the top. We'll take the switch off. We'll take the battery out. I've just got an E-Fest in there at the moment. Now this does like flat tops. Uh, nipple tops are a bit of a no-no really with this. It's uh, flat tops really. Uh, We'll have a look at the switch while it's off. There's your switch. With a, it's a brass uh, switch with a spring inside. There it is up close. See the engraving on that K, lovely. It's got a knurled locking ring, which if we can undo it, that's right, locks unlocks and there's your dowel ring piece which you can unscrew that just unscrews like so that comes off and then there's your contact pin your brass contact pin the threading on this by the way is lovely uh, I'm not going to take this switch apart all you've got in there is a spring uh, and that's it you just have to make sure that when you get it that 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 is tight because it, it did have a tendency to unscrew when i first had it and as soon as i tightened it up i've had no problems with it since but yeah lovely lovely fire switch nice nice action on that as well so what we'll do is we'll get this uh allen key out of the bag off camera and we'll take it to port now this unscrews off the bottom, which is your what would effectively be be your top cap on a tubular mod, and that's it. On here is a dowel rim piece. It gets in focus. That's it. Threading is very nice on there. Deep air channels. The threading is really good on this as well, this mod. That's polished as well. Polished stainless steel. So no problems there with the atomizers and airflow. Four nice airflow uh, slots. So what we've got in here is this here is your center post, your 510 connection. Here. What we'll do is we'll I'll undo that. That I'll show you now on camera, but that is adjustable both ways. That's on its near the bottom now. Well, that's adjustable up and down. And what we'll do is we'll take the uh, take this top cap off.
excuse me if I do go off camera a bit I'm trying to do it uh, by watching a screen rather than the device itself but uh, there's your uh, there's your top cap with your or your, your your ring and threading for the switch and your two bolts not much to say about that really this is your milled this was on about where it's solid obviously it was a solid piece of aluminium this and it's just been milled through uh, and around here these edges are not really sharp at all not as sharp as what uh, the original was supposed to have been they are rounded a little bit more and it's got a good finish to it so that's that so I'll go ahead and take the bottom apart now I have to be careful when I'm taking the bottom apart because there's a a little plastic space that you have to be careful of make sure you don't lose it this strips right down this does I just uh, so what we do now is let that let that drop out and then what we have is your solid piece of aluminium left at the end to do what you want with it clean it whatever so that's that now this is where I think it's interesting because this is exactly the same let's just get them screws out allen key screws out this is your adjustable 510 that's that little plastic spacer I was on about Oops, see I dropped it now. Find it again. I've got it. <laughs> you always do something like that when you're on camera. That's your little plastic space here. Which sits right smack in the middle there of the contact bar. And then what we've got here is the the actual where the current goes that's where your battery sits the bottom of your battery current goes across here uh, across this aluminium bar and then up the brass 510 that's it and then it sits in this uh, it's got like a plastic actually plastic but like a really hard dowring type plastic in the bottom there in the base now this is when I've seen this on, on the original, it looks exactly the same. Exactly the same. So what we do is we slot that back in there. This brass pin can come all the way out if you need wanted to. And then This just sits on there some somehow. Let's get this plastic spacer back in there, that's it. Right. And then, sorry if I go off camera, I'm just trying to do it whilst viewing a, a monitor. So we put the screws back in. Get it sort of threaded up first. That's it, you know when you're in, you'll find it up the holes. So we'll do that up. Do that up. Make sure all your edges are pretty much 
level because you can move it about a bit before you start tightening them up properly seems to be right then we can uh, tweak it up properly they don't have to be mega tight these just tight that's it that's the first bit back on then we put the uh, top section back on again that's just a case of placing it on top screwing the uh, allen keys in like so then we'll tweak it up okay and then we put the top cap back or what we, what you would call the top cap on a tubular mod screw that back in now for tightening this up I just get a little ruler in the air channels and just tighten it like that don't want it to be over tight I'll put the battery in and the switch back on like so put the k-form back in like so hopefully I've got contact yeah and it fires away and that's it so that's the that's the close-ups guys uh, lovely bit of kit what very very well made in my opinion very well made and and looks well with a K4 and it probably looked nice with a Typhon as well but yeah that's the Kato close up so we'll go back up to the top and uh, talk about it have a vape on it and rate it so thank you for that guys alright guys here we are back at the top again uh, I hope that close up showed you everything that you needed to see uh, apart from me dropping the, uh, the plastic white dowel piece on the floor and having to scroll underneath this settee to get it but yeah uh, I love this guys and girls I love it it's it's just my style of mechanical device this and you know that's uh, the 18650 in, in my hand you know it's I wouldn't want an 18500 really, but I think it'd be a little bit too small. I mean, you can hold it whichever way you want. I mean, I've been picking it up off the desk like that. I'm just pressing it with my finger. Excuse me. Like that. Or you can pick it up like that. If you pick it up like that and you've got a, a K4 on or something of this nature you just have to be careful you don't block up the air hole with your fingers so if you pick it up like that you've got to lift your fingers up off uh, just have the your top and your bottom finger holding it so you don't block the air hole up obviously you'll know if you block the air hole up anyway because you'll be like sucking a golf ball through a nose pipe so yeah I'm in love with it to be honest. I could take it to bed with me. <laughs> it is that good. It is that good. So thanks guys for watching. Uh, if you want my rating for it, it's it's a nine out of ten. Uh, it loses a point for it being a bit what I would call my favourite saying, Marmite. Because you either love it or you're not. Uh, but for me, build quality, materials, even the price really, I know it's £60, but the original of this was nearer £200. Uh, I think it's £180, £175 on UK eSig store now. Uh, and for me, this has uh, been cloned very, very well. Very well. So uh, you contact me if you want to leave any comments on the uh, YouTube video underneath the video or you can contact me on the AAEC forum Richo71 is my avatar 
the video gets posted to there anyway as per usual uh, thanks again to uh, elegantvapor.co.uk for giving me this for review fantastic bit of kit and there's not much else I can say is have fun guys and I'll see you in the next video